Hello, how are you doing? In the context of neural networks, have you heard the term parameter and you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is? Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. To explain parameters, let me start by showing you a diagram of a simple artificial neural network. Each node in this network represents an artificial neuron. Each neuron is connected to all the other neurons in the next layer. Here you see an input layer. The input layer represents the input features or where the data is fed into the network. Each neuron in this input layer corresponds to a feature of the input data. Here you see two hidden layers. These are the layers between the input and output layers. The hidden layers consist of neurons that perform computations and pass the results to the next layer. Lastly, you see the output layer. The output layer produces the final prediction or decision of the network. The number of neurons in the output layer depends on the type of task. A single neuron for binary classification or multiple neurons for multi-class classification or regression tasks. If you look closer at a specific neuron, each of the connections between neurons has a weight. Each weight is independent of the others. These weights determine the importance of the respective input. A small weight suppresses the importance of the input, while a large weight magnifies the importance. Each neuron computes a weighted sum of all its inputs, adds a bias term, and applies an activation function. The bias helps the model shift the activation function, helping it fit the data better. The activation function determines whether a neuron activates, passing its signal to the next layer in the artificial neural network. In this neural network, both weights and biases are parameters. A parameter refers to a learnable element of the model. These learnable elements have values that get adjusted during model training to minimize the error between the predicted and actual output. So when a neural network is created, how are these weights and biases determined? Well, initially, they are initialized to random values. The neural network can then be trained. Training a neural network involves a series of steps to optimize its weights and biases so that it can make accurate predictions. So if we look at our original neural network, how would we calculate the total number of parameters? Well, the network structure is defined by layer one, which is the input layer with three inputs. Layer two, which is our first hidden layer, has four neurons. Layer three, which is our second hidden layer, also has four neurons. And finally, our output layer has just two neurons. So the general formula used to compute the parameters between each pair of connected layers is, the number of parameters is equal to the number of inputs multiplied by the number of neurons plus the number of biases. Note, biases are equal to the number of neurons in that layer. So in step one, with the input layer having three inputs that map to the first hidden layer with four neurons, we get three times four plus four biases, which gives us 16 parameters. So in step two, from the first hidden layer with four neurons, mapping to the second hidden layer with four neurons, we get four times four plus four biases, which is equal to 20 parameters. So in step three, from the second hidden layer with four neurons, which maps to the output layer with two neurons, we get four times two plus two biases, which is equal to 10 parameters. So in total, aggregating up all the parameters, we get 16 plus 20 plus 10 gives us 46 parameters. So in summary, this simple artificial neural network has 46 parameters. So wrapping this up, the weights and biases are known as parameters. Parameters are trainable elements in the model. The number of parameters in a neural network influences its capacity to learn complex patterns. More parameters can enable a network to capture more intricate relationships in the data. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a high level overview of neural network parameters. In future videos, I'll go over neural network hyperparameters. These are another type of parameter that are different from these trainable parameters we just discussed. Keep an eye out for this video if this sounds interesting to you.
Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other business playlists, are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. Get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about this. And with that, have a great day. Thank you.